Welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Let's get right to it. So it's happened again in America. Once again, there's been another shooting. Once again, another attack on our police officers. Once again, another act of gun violence that we will do nothing about. This time, like I said, it took place at a Home Depot in Dallas, Texas. There were three injuries, or three people who were shot. Two DPT police officers, a male and a female apparently, and a security um, officer from the Home Depot itself. And then the suspect, obviously, uh, he produced a handgun and shot these people. Now, the status of the civilian is unknown. Uh, the female officer was shot in the face. Last I heard was critical but stable. And there was a male officer, apparently, who was shot, who is on life support, pending the arrival of his family. Not likely to make his survive it, you know, survive his injuries from, his, from the shooting. Now, these are unconfirmed reports because DPD hasn't put it out directly from what I've seen. But those are the sor from sources and different reports. That's what I'm seeing. So what happened, may you ask? The security guard was trying to apprehend a suspect inside the store. Obviously, the guy had um, stolen something or, or what or had stolen something or had done something that, they, um, that was a deemed, I guess, a threat to other people, and they were trying to apprehend him. He called the police, you know, to get um, help with the guy to arrest him. That way they could get him out of the store. And the officer showed up, and at some point, the suspect grabbed a firearm or, you know, produced his own firearm that he had and gunned down all three people. Now, my hope is that all three survive, but I, from reports are saying that one of them will not. I really, I'm at a complete loss. Once again, more gun violence. Once again, another attack on the officers. Once again, something we'll do nothing about. You know, the other day, one of my biggest supporters here on the Big Ranch Show, Southside GA, made a comment. You know, when I told him that I was I told them I was about at a loss for this whole mess. And you know, maybe they're right on some of the stuff that because the, they're talking about uh, mandatory mental evaluations to own a firearm. They even talked about some other things that made a lot of sense. You know, and I thank them for their com comments. So shout out to Southside GA for their comments and, you know, showing support to the Big Ranch Show. I, I, I really think, I, I'm really, I'm really grateful for your support and for the rest of you that watch, that may not, that may watch but don't comment. Those of you that are here for my, my show, thank you. But I am completely at a loss here for what to do on this. The, we, where, where do we go from here? If we've gotten to the point that even that shooting school kids and shooting police officers is deemed okay to the point that we're going to do nothing about it, what is wrong with us as a people? Are we broken? Are we really this morally bankrupt to believe that our right to own a firearm or our e the ease of access to a firearm is more important than the lives of our fellow Americans? The lives of our police officers, the lives of the children in schools. Like I said in my video the other day, I'm not talking about we need to put an end to just shooting officers and just shooting up in school shootings. We need to put an end to gun, daily gun violence in this country. What is it? Some thirty to thirty-four thousand people die a year in America to gun violence when some of our nearest peers. Might have a few hundred tops for a year. I want to know where when 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 are we going to do something about this? 
When are we going to stop allowing our officers, our kids, and other Americans be gunned down on a daily basis? When are we going to continue to do that? When? If not now, when? After every shooting, we do nothing. It's insane. Shooting, we do nothing. Shooting, we do nothing. Shooting, we do nothing. Over and over again. It's the same cycle repeating over and over again. A shooting gets a little press. A few days later, they shut it down. They shut. They stop talking about it. Another shooting happens and the press picks it up again. I, I don't understand what we do from here. I, I, I'm completely at a loss. I, I am heartbroken for the families of these officers. And yes, I have other videos up where I have talked negatively about some police officers. But I want to make it clear in this video, I want to make it very clear, that even though I may have a problem with a few individual officers that have done things across this country, I firmly believe that most police officers are good people, just trying to protect and serve, just trying to keep you safe. And you can sit there and say, I don't trust, I don't like, I don't trust police officers. I don't like police officers. But I know at the end of the day, most of y'all that say that are going to be calling the cops when the chips are down. When your life is in, is in danger, you're going to be calling the, you're going to be calling the police. So my suggestion is get out there, show some support for your police officers. If you see them in public, say, say thank you. You know? You know, be, be gracious. Because these people are putting their lives on the line every single day to keep us, keep us safe. And if you don't think so, then my suggestion is the next time you need help, don't call them. Let whoever's in, you know, invading your house, let them have their way. Don't call the cops. But these attack, attacks on our police officers must stop. I will not hate all police officers for the actions of a few. At the end of the day, I have a lot of respect for police officers. They do a lot of hard work. They put up with a lot of shit. But we don't do shit to help them. I am completely baffled that we've done nothing to this point. All these years of mass shootings and cop shootings, and we have done nothing. It makes me sick. It makes me beyond, you know, I, I, I'm at the point that I don't even want to cover these stories anymore. It, it's too heartbreaking to see this every single day. And the fact that we will do nothing ever, ever to help them and to prevent these shootings from happening. So like I said, if you see an officer out in public, say thank you for your service. You know, thank them for protecting, you know, your, your community. Keep, your, keep the Dallas PD in your thoughts and prayers. Keep the families of these victims in your thoughts and prayers. But where we go from here, I don't know. I, I'm... I, I, I'm... Like I said, I'm just lost. I'm... I don't get it. I'll never understand how people think it's okay to shoot police officers. It, it, it makes me sick to my stomach. It's just not right. This is some of the most evil stuff I've ever, ever dealt with. School shootings, officers being shot for no reason. All these officers did was just show up and try and do their job. 
to arrest an individual who had obviously stolen something and that the security guard was trying to apprehend. The security guard did his job. He called the police to, ha to get their help. Now, I don't have any details on exactly how all this went down. But it makes me sick. If it doesn't make you sick, I don't know what to tell you. If you're in Dallas, you know, in the Dallas area, you know, definitely, you know, thank your police officers. Send them a message on their Facebook page or something, you know, thanking them for their service. And, you know... Sending your condolences to these, you know, for these officers. And I really have nothing else for you. I wish I did. I wish I had more to give you on this topic. But I can't give you any more. I, I just can't do it. I, I am... I am furious at this point. I am sad at the same time. It, it's very hard to be sad... And angry at the same time for me. It's very draining. So to the officers affected. I am sorry that you were shot. To their families. I send you my, uh, my, my deepest sympathies. My condolences. Um, if any of them pass away. Just say a prayer. For our officers out there. You know. Just. We've got to do something. We've got to stop gun violence in this country. And I don't, I'm not, and like I said, I don't care where it happens. I don't care if it happens in a school. I don't care if it happens on the streets of Chicago. I don't care if it happens to, if it happens to police officers. It doesn't matter where the gun violence takes place. We must find a way to stop it. We've got to stand up and say enough. We've got to stand up and say no more. I just... I... I'm at a loss. I, I really...